Let's talk about renting to own or lease to own. So first of all, let's take stock of the current real estate market that we find ourselves in. Lease to own arrangements are more common and more popular in markets where properties are harder to move. There really are two paths towards leasing a property towards owning that property. One, what I think is probably a cleaner option would be for a tenant to continue to lease a property, but to have an option to purchase that property. Number two, more complicated, more Byzantine, but still doable, is where the tenant not only pays rent, but they also pay some additional incremental amount above and beyond their rent, which is intended to go towards the principle of the property or the price of the property, if you will. And whether you're doing a lease with an option to purchase, or you're doing a true rent to own situation where you are making principal payments in addition to rental payments every month, an ironclad legal agreement between the parties is absolutely required. It cannot be done verbally. It cannot be done on a cocktail napkin. It cannot be done on a handshake. It has to be a very explicit and well-articulated legal document that's unambiguous and crystal clear as to everybody's rights and obligations vis-a-vis -vis other parties.